Oof, 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 guys. I've just, I've never seen people so polarized over a few things. My god, you know, I was here with Legendary Lucina and then Legendary Lin from before then, and, well, the reaction has not been too strong, in case you haven't seen it over on the Japanese side, and then, of course, over on the English side. Things are, uh... Things are a little bit testy here, and I definitely understand why this is. Now, I'm just going to discuss this because I want to see what your guys' opinion on it is, as well as how you feel about this. And a lot of you were asking me about it outside of abilities and thematics and all this fun stuff, and good lord, Corn, you really can pull off that dress, and I don't know why. But, um... <laughs> so this banner is coming along, and a lot of you are not too happy about it, mainly because, of course, Fate's Awakening, but the major complaint that I'm seeing people lob at this is, of course, that we have another Camilla. And I will say that I'm a little bit in agreement with, uh, you know, Camilla, but it's not because of the reason that I think people are really going for, it's mostly because Camilla just does not fit in this whole thematics thing, because this whole banner is based around, at least from what I can tell, a DLC. Um, a DLC of an alternate timeline where Vala ta technically won, I guess, in a way. And because of that, we get this whole kind of cult-like appeal where, you know, you kind of see everyone's dressed as Azura. It's all Azura ults at this point, but Camilla stuck out as one of the weirder choices here. And it does admittedly feel kind of like they're doing it just because, of course, they know Camilla will make them money. And I understand that. Definitely get it. But, um... The reason why I'm kind of perturbed about this is mostly because this banner is based around that. It's based around Vala, and there are so many characters in Fates, so many, that if we're going to be doing another Fates banner, it seems very odd to just focus solely on Camilla. And, admittedly, in that DLC, I don't remember Camilla actually being a very major portion of this, or a really huge portion of Revelations in a big, big way. And instead of, you know, getting characters that I think probably would have fit a lot better with this, just off the top of my head, we have characters like Scarlet, who probably could have fit this vill, you know, just a little bit better as a possessed form. Even characters like Sumeragi, who, you know, appears a lot more with Makoto in those chapters. Um, in fact, Makoto, I believe, appears a little bit later in Revelations as well. Or even characters like Lilith, who plays a very, very important, crucial role in the DLC. In fact, the DLC, a lot of that in the later portions of the DLC, really focuses on Lilith and gives her a lot more backstory with the Nankos. And I feel like just skipping over that instead and putting in Camilla kind of does a little bit of a disservice to that. Because we could have had a character like Lilith, who would have just fit the theme so, so well. And... That's kind of my main sticking point there, guys, is that, for some reason, instead we get Camilla. And instead, we have another Fates banner, which I'm sure people might be a little bit testy about. And as much as I love Camilla, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy Camilla. I have a whole Camilla emblem team that I love using. It just, it does stick out to me as a very strange pick. Um, I'm a little bit upset about that. It also, to some, feels like... Perhaps maybe it was a bit more damage control when they announced these banners a little while ago. I'm talking, of course, about the Binding Blade and the Radiant Dawn banners that are coming out in 2019. A lot of you were were suspecting that there may, in fact, be more Fates banners in the you know on the line in the future. And surprise, surprise, you were right. Um, does this mean it's the end of the world? I don't think so, but it does show that, of course, they know who who they can market. They know who they really want to aim for when it comes to, you know, making money, and that is a bit of a thing, but it also kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of, you know, hurts some of the subset of the community who really want to see some of their other characters in the game. And, admittedly, you know, we have a banner with three alts and one new character, and, well, the thematics are at play. I just, it's really frustrating to me. But, I'm still very excited for this banner. And I'm hoping that with this banner, that also means that the Faye channel won't be entirely focused on this and Faye won't blab for five minutes about how we're getting this new banner featuring all of these new characters. There is a little bit of a bright side there, I'm hoping. And of course, Corrin pulling off that. Jesus Christ, look at those! But anyways, um, I, I, I understand the frustration, guys, and I don't really know what, what else to kind of say here. I mean, as much as I love Camilla, and as much as I love Fates and Awakening, I definitely get the frustrations. And I'm hoping that, 
you know, since this was planned sometime in the future, IS kind of learns from this, maybe takes a bit of this on, you know, on the nose, just kind of goes, okay, well, maybe we should focus a little bit more on other characters and other games. And hopefully this will be a little bit of a kick in the butt to get them going with that. Uh, we already know that there's banners in 2019. But um, feel free to voice your frustrations in the comments, guys. That's what the comment section is for. And uh, now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to taking a look at uh, a certain character because I'm just kind of amazed by this. This is what I've been thinking about all day and night. Just kind of going, huh. So I'm going to go back to studying now, nerds. Do tell me your uh, what you think about everything in the comments below. For now, though, catch you later.